only have we changed our departing flight, we've also changed our flight back to Vietnam and now we are riding in a golf cart to the other first class lounge here in the Hong Kong airport. Going from the yeah. other first class lounge. Yeah. All of our plans are out the window. We are those people who oddly enjoy flying. Like, really enjoy it. Over the last three and a half years, we've flown to over 50 countries on over 20 airlines. But today is one of the most excited we have ever been to get on an airplane. Because today we are spending 16 hours flying across the Pacific in one of the nicest business class products in the world. Alright, we have just arrived at the airport and if you couldn't guess by all the scooters, we are currently in Vietnam. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that was so exciting. We just got verified on Instagram. It seems so narcissistic to be so excited about this, but like with what we do every day, it's so useful for being able to something that this the was this already like. Oh my, I can't believe this. I feel like we just like getting promoted I, in a job. Could things get any better? Congratulations. <laughs> Before we start this long travel day, we're gonna have a quick coffee in the lounge. They gave us this lounge pass to the Orchid Lounge, but I also think that it is a priority pass lounge, so we probably would've gone anyways. Let's go! I cannot think of a better way to start this day than a massage chair with a cup of coffee. Oh, this is much needed after our 20 hour train ride yesterday. Voices on my back are sore that I didn't even know existed. What makes today's travel day even more exciting than just the experience itself is how we got these tickets and how much we paid for them. What's happening? I'm currently booking $8,000 business class tickets for $650 a piece. So back in January, when we were staying in an Airbnb in Mexico, we booked these flights as an error fare. And for those of you who don't know what error fares are, it's essentially when an airline makes a mistake in their pricing and the tickets end up being way too cheap. And I'm about to book as many as I can. So we're actually paying about a tenth the cost of what we should be. We are paying $695 out of pocket for these round trip flights from Da Nang to New York in beautiful, luxurious business class. And these tickets should cost between $5,000 and $10,000. Sign me up. It's never exactly clear why these air affairs happen. Otherwise, the airlines would make sure that they never happen because no airline wants to sell tickets way too cheap. And now we've booked how many at this point? Two. Happy New Year's Eve. But the thing to know is that when one of these happens, you have to be super quick booking it. But while the fare is available, I'm gonna book it. Book now, think later. That's our advice for mistake fares. Hey, have you heard about FairDrop? It's a service that we created that hunts for deals just like these and sends you an alert when we find them. You can try it for free using the link in the description below. Now we just have a short two hour flight to Hong Kong. We're going to end this session with Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the friendly Cafe Dragon service. Thank you. Even though this flight is only an hour and a half, we got the menus to order from and an iPad for movies. We had some big plans for today's episode. Nate was going to explain all the nerdy details about this mistake fair. About status, numbers, miles, points, etc. However, we soon realized our day wasn't going to go quite as planned. We made it to Hong Kong and we made three new friends. So we're supposed to be spending the next few hours in the business class lounge. However, the three guys that we met on the plane are flying first class, so they're going to guest us into the first class lounge. Are you sure you weren't recording? <laughs> we're going back to the first class lounge. We're celebrating birthdays and blue check marks. To birthdays and blue check marks. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Cheers. And to making new friends. And, and making new, new friends. friends. Right. So in 2016, we had One World Emerald status. So we were able to enjoy Hong Kong's first class lounges several times during our travels through Asia. With my bath. Since our new friends, Chris, Finn, and Jordan, booked this airfare in first class, uh, 
Nate doesn't want to talk about it. We were very grateful for the opportunity to come back again as their guests. Then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll need your passport. <laughs> you what else do you need? See you okay. later, Finn. Cool. Good luck. I'll try. Bon voyage. We've Thank just you. given our passports to a random guy we met on the airplane. He's wearing a blazer, so... He looks blazer. very professional. <laughs> so... <laughs> you two can change your flights for $100 change fee. Oh, yes, to absolutely. any available flight. That would mean that you could also change the return portion and there will likely still be availability so you can take the same flight back and celebrate Jordan's birthday. There we go. <laughs> As you can tell, our new friends are very convincing. And we changed our flight time so we could spend the next 16 hours together. Best friends. So it's my 31st <laughs> Forever. birthday. Forever. Um, <laughs> and they just switched onto our flight. So not only have our friends convinced us to change our flight, but now we're also going to a new first class lounge with them. And we're not walking. It's golf cart express. Crazy. A golf cart transfer from the first class lounge to the other first class lounge. This is it's getting not out of hand. Like we're going to the plane. We're going to the other first class lounge. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 no. It's like it's. No, it's a, it's a, yeah, rotation. Thank you for coming. I did not know that there were people in this world who enjoyed flying more than we did, but I think the three people that we've met today. What do you have to say? I hate to say it, it's worth it. I would honestly pay to do this again. Last time we were here, we were sweating with our backpacks on, running from one first class lounge to the next. And this time we're riding on a golf cart. Nathan. Yep. How's it feel? I feel like everybody that we pass is staring at us. <laughs> That's what. This is a long journey. Are we here? Thank you. We're back. I'm pretty sure I have the same shot from 2016. <laughs> and we're back. Maybe. It's, how do we get the cabana? There's no more. The cabana waiting with. After two hours in one of our favorite first class lounges, it was finally time to board our much anticipated flight to New York. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your first class flight. Thank you. All right, here we are. It's home for the night 16 hours. This is just the appetizer.
All right, 16 hours later, we've landed in New York. Glad it's over. I don't want to get off. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, friends. Best tourist ever. Thank you for Good. having me. Thank Bye. You. They it were so the best. <laughs> Bye, Bye later. All right, we have now been traveling for well over 24 hours, but the journey does not end here. The reason that we flew back to the U.S. is actually to go to Kara's cousin's wedding, which is in Detroit, and we're driving. It sounded like a good idea a long time ago. Here's our car. Road trip. I wish. <laughs> not the Range Rover, not the Jeep, not the Yukon. All right, here she is. Our minds and our bodies are so confused right now. It is currently midnight in New York, but our body clock thinks it is 11 a.m. So, since we slept for a solid eight hours on the flight last night, we are about to drive 10 hours straight from New York City to Detroit, Michigan. Why are you dancing? What was that for? I'm just gonna blow up on so I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Call us crazy. We'll see what happens. We may get halfway and have to get a hotel. We are crazy. You are on the fastest route. You will arrive at 9.53 a.m. Okay, it is 4.18 a.m. We are almost halfway. It's light outside. The sun is just rising. 5.22. I see the light. Hallelujah. We may both be a little delirious <laughs> at this point in the travel day. I've had an unbelievable amount of coffee in the last 10 hours, along with a giant Texas toast grilled cheese with double bacon. may or may not have just driven 15 minutes out of the way to get a Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit. Worth it. In 150 feet, turn right. We made it! 12 hours later. <laughs> 12 hours. It was always supposed to take 10 hours. <laughs> Whoa, baby. I feel like we've been traveling for a week. We seriously have. If you step back for like the whole journey, that started kind of four days ago. We started with a 20 hour overnight train ride halfway across Vietnam. And then we spent a night in a hotel. And then we spent 18 hours, like literally 18 hours on airplanes, not counting time in airports. And last night at midnight, we got in a car and we just drove for 12 hours. Woo! What were we thinking? Not complaining. I mean, I've really <laughs> enjoyed myself the whole time, but it's just been crazy. And we're only here for like a few days. <laughs> and then we turn around <laughs> and do it all again. Wait, not, not the overnight train. We're, we're eliminating the overnight train. God was bedding down to get As I got back to Oregon, he returned to Oregon and the NCAA three close friends that he wanted. Questions didn't work for business. A misappropriation. Many, many hours later, made it to the airport. It is 11 p.m. and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> really looking forward to getting on this flight. Great. So apparently the kitchen closed an hour ago, but they made us an ice cream sundae anyway. With a belly full of chocolate cake, we boarded our 16 hour flight back to Hong Kong. We were completely exhausted from the big weekend and the long drive, so we pretty much passed out as soon as our heads hit the seat. After a good night's sleep, a strong cup of coffee, and some Game of Thrones, we made our way back up to first class for another birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. Thanks so much. Thanks, baby.
This is one of the craziest parties I've ever had. You, Thanks, cheers, cheers, Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Cheers. Well, we just landed in Hong Kong. It is five in the morning, and we just had cake and champagne for breakfast. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. So sad saying bye to our friends. All right, one more short flight, and then we are back to where this crazy week all started. Can't believe it's almost over. I can't it believe it's already been so a week. It's like yeah. the weirdest week of my life, time-wise. Like it was so hard to keep up with. Here we go. Flight time today, one hour thirty minutes. Expecting smooth conditions for most of the flight. There is a bit of weather forecast uh, in Vietnam and also in the Pearl River Delta uh, region. So if the seatbelts on, switch up, adjust the tank seats and fasten seatbelts. Very shortly, Caroline, the girl take three and five safe demonstration. Please pay your full attention. Well, uh, flight Peter, I'll get back to you with some update details for Rob Lindsay today. In the meantime, please sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves. We just we got, just in, got a car, in by car. Right? Rod's right, pushing on my butt. <laughs> uh, my hair, my hair is blowing in the wind. Of this That's kind of the point. <laughs> People don't wear hats that are serious. At least she's not wearing sunglasses. She might I love be a mafia it. brand. Yeah, this is awkward. Am I a bogus? Yes, we like it. Doing all right. I've been another video they were on the task The traffic that I got on the plane is so nice.